All right, yo, what's up? It's Liam, your boy, also known as M3Walker on Instagram. Here with other Liam and Jay, my neighbor, who I've just recently met. He knows nothing about cars, but we're gonna show him how to swap out a radiator today. It's gonna be sick. Now, let me show you guys what's up. My radiator's basically been leaking 160,000 miles. As you would think, maintenance, the time has come to get her out. She's got a little leaking here and on the other side. So what I did is I got a whole bunch of parts here. Now, when I was looking at the forums and talking to people, I was thinking of going Mishimoto aluminum radiator, and that's a really good product, but that radiator is not only really expensive, but it's still a double core, and you can get a Z3M radiator, which supposedly just drops right into the bay. Way easier. No modification. Way easier. Way easier, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And it's cheaper. I got uh, this from FCP Euro for 170 bucks. Now, just for the heck of it, got to replace the hoses. Mishimoto here. And then I got this sweet Mishimoto butt plug. coolant reservoir. Not butt plug. Got the genuine OEM BMW antifreeze. And hopefully we're going to get this done with no problems. Anything to say? 2J swap it. Fuck it. <laughs> Like a drill bit. There ain't no teeth, nothing to grab there. Just so whoever did this last wrecked my radiator, but as you guys can see, there's some well, leaking going on. It's not a big deal, man. Well, I mean, I'm replacing it Let's anyway. Just drill it out. Facts. Let's get the drill. Yeah. All right. Oh my God, I'm stuck. All right, here we go. Dude, you're on your back. Land Where's your back. my stepbrother? <laughs> what are you doing, step bro? Oh, <laughs> step bro, I'm home. <laughs> yeah, okay. There it is. Oh. Is <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna let this drain and then get to the next step right now I just took out the bleeder screw right here and the Reservoir cap just kind of let the air flow and let it Let the flow go. It's kind of like a little flow max tip next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna get the shroud Take this off Get the fan shroud get the radiator out the clips all the good stuff and we should be good to go to pull it out Simple as that. Oh, dude, this Pull the sensor off. Oh, she's she's leaking. <laughs> the gusher. <laughs> so we just got this reservoir out. Best way we kind of found doing it was there's like a little clamp right uh, for one of the hoses. You kind of go at that with the flathead screwdriver, yank her off. Whole thing just spills out. Be careful. A lot of splashing going on. A lot of action. Back of 190 meters of water pressure bearing down on the water at the bottom. And then there's another hose up here. Unfortunately, I broke it off, but I'm replacing the reservoir anyway, so I'm not worried. You wanna get that in focus? Yeah, but there's a really weird, uh, small little metal tensioner clamp here. You just kinda of have to work your way with it. And uh, yeah, that's your reservoir. Thanks Next thing is the nasty. radiator in the shroud. She's nasty, this is the Coolant level sensor, got a new one of these. They do go bad after a while because the coolant actually does corrode it over time. The sensor for it is this wire. I'd just keep it out of the way and let it hang. Now the next sensor we're gonna tackle is actually this radiator sensor. What we're gonna do is a little clip right here. You push down on it and pull, and then I'm gonna unscrew this bad boy and just clip it back so we don't lose track of it because it is easy to get the two confused. Just pulled the radiator. Leakage is right here right there. and here. Dang. Front side. Oh, oh yep. <laughs> yep, she's not empty. Front has definitely seen better days. But this is the sensor right here. We're gonna take this out and clip it in. So, don't so yeah, we we didn't want to take off the clutch fan. So what we did was we took out the radiator first, and then we're just now pulling out the fan shroud. A little bit easier this way. And then we'll kind of just put it back on in reverse when we're installing. Why didn't Mishimoto make, why didn't they send you the clamps, like brand new ones? You're paying so much money for the hoses, you're not getting any freaking clamps? 
Ah, they're coming straight toward our proximity. Maybe you should give them the clamps, clamps. Gee, you think? You think that maybe I should use these clamps that I use every day at every opportunity? You're a freaking genius, you idiot! Send me some clamps. HPS sent me three clamps. <laughs> Fuck this, dude. Mishimoto. That's an L, bro. So, everything's out. A little crusty action going on. Thermostat. Uh, we're probably gonna clean some things up. Just kind of make the shroud look nice for the heck of it. Clean this bad boy up. All the connecting surfaces to the hoses we're gonna clean out. Make sure everything's spick and span for when we drop in the new radiator. Now here's some of the new parts. We got our Mishimoto hoses with no clamps. With no clamps. The coolant reservoir. She looks nice. I'll take her out of the package so you can see it better. Look at this bad boy. Lifetime warranty. Serial number, all the good action. She's yeah. gonna look nice. And this is the new radiator from a Z3M. Okay, so this is the new radiator from a Z3M S54 engine. Got three cores instead of two. Like it said online, everyone says it should just be a direct drop in. Good for upgrading if you're trying to be budget friendly on the track. The Mishimoto one's really good. It's all aluminum, um, but this is 175 bucks and a little bit better cooling action. It is also OEM spec made by Bear and Molly. Definitely a good way to go if you are looking to upgrade the cooling systems. So we're gonna drop this thing in and hopefully figure out how to get this all working correctly without blowing my engine. Basically what we did is we put everything back in the way we took it out. Um, radiator, transferred the grommets from the old one onto the new one for mounting. We then put on new clips, mounted the shroud, installed the reservoir. Really the only thing holding it in, if you're wondering, is the hose below that connects to this and this little clip right here where the bleeder valve used to be. You can kind of just hoist it on, it secures itself pretty well. Uh, don't forget to put in the coolant level sensor under here, transfer it from your old reservoir. You find it right here. This is the old one actually, I bought a new one. Just screws right in. Then for this S54 radiator, um, the sensor goes right where the old one did. Uh, if you buy a new one, there'll be like a brass screw that kind of holds a placeholder for the sensor. It's pretty easy stuff. Bolts all right in. Tightened all the clamps down. Flushed her a few times. We did about three flushes. The uh, coolant's now crystal clear on all flushes, so we know when we put in new stuff, it'll be 100% new, 100% clean, and ready to rock. 100% woke, M3. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good, boy. 50-50 splant. Hell yeah. Yep. <laughs> So I'm kind of just going back and forth. They're filling up, checking the reservoir levels, and I'm watching the temp gauge. There's a really good video you can find by Menace on um, flushing, bleeding, filling, whole coolant overhaul, and he's really in depth on how to do it. I'll uh, send you guys his video in the description below. And when you want to install the Mishimoto reservoir, if you are having a little bit of trouble, it's pretty straightforward, but Mishimoto also has a video on installing that in your E36. Highly recommend checking that out. I'll just keep you guys updated as we fill this up. Eventually hop on a test ride, make sure everything's staying at optimum temperature and we should be golden. All right, yo, so it's all done. Last time we checked, I showed you guys, we basically burped the coolant or burped the, uh, dude, nice sticking bro. Thrash in the rib. We're burping the um, reservoir, making sure there's no air bubbles in the coolant. Like I said before, Menace has a really good process on how to do it all. Definitely check it out. And I will put that in the description below. We just took this thing for a test drive, took it easy, drove around for about 10, 15 minutes. Absolutely stayed at operating temperature, no issues whatsoever. <laughs> I started ripping it a little bit. <laughs> Jay had a little bit of fun in the back. He ripped it and now I'm on a ripstick. I'll also put links to all the things I got in the description. So just to run it down one more time, S54 Z3M radiator, 
Mishimoto coolant reservoir, Mishimoto hoses, genuine BMW antifreeze coolant, uh, distilled water, and just a few, you know, oh, hose genuine. clamps. <laughs> genuine. It's official coolant. Oh, Zarka water. Fiji water. Fiji water. <laughs> and um, just some clips, clamps, all the little things. Makes it mint. Tomorrow I'm probably gonna clean the engine bay out just so I can make sure there's no leaks. Check the residue, no splooges, no spills. But hey, she's looking good. We're gonna have fun cleaning up this mess we made. Yeah, I cleaned it up. Cosmo and Wanda think they're slick. <laughs> Find yourself some cool friends so you get cheap labor out of them. And um, they can do all the work. Hit this kid up on Instagram. We've got new things coming for his build soon. And follow Jay if you don't care about cars because like he just likes rip sticking a lot and if you're into that kind of stuff definitely and, uh, give him a follow. He's got a deal this weekend on his OnlyFans. <laughs> don't forget to check it out. 69 cents for three hours Skype. Anything you want. He's putting on the one piece thong. Just make sure you give him a special DM on Instagram. Uh, the buzzword will be ripstick. DM him Ripstick on Instagram and... Ripstick, dipstick, you never know what you're gonna get out of here. Short throw dipstick. You got your cars and you got your... Step bro leaks coolant everywhere. Yeah, he'll give you the step bro special. Peace out guys, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, peace.